Welcome to this video that shows you K-Photo album running on an Android device. This screen that you're looking at here is pretty similar to what you know from the desktop application. And then just look at the view here. Here you can see all the images from my running K-Photo album application. It's rather intuitive. Just click through as you are used to. And one of the design principle behind this Android application is that it should be as easy to use so my three-year-old daughter is capable of looking at my images from my photo album database without any assistance from me. And I actually tried it out. It does work. Anyway, what you're looking at, and that was her you could hear there in the background, what you're looking at here is um, the categories that you have on your running desktop application. So the way that it's designed is that other than having my whole database on my Android device, I instead just connect to a running desktop application, uh, desktop K-Photo Boom application. So when it starts up, it will connect to the desktop application and ask for what are the categories, in this case here, albums, places, and people, and the special one, token and folders, and show that to me, including their images that it also got from the database. When I click on view, I will ask the running desktop K-Photo album application for the thumbnails. And when I click on a given image here, I will see the images available. I'll download the image from the application. The advantage of that is that it doesn't require that I have my uh, 100 gigabytes of images and videos on my Android uh, device, but instead only on my desktop. And as you can see from the from the performance here, it is a uh, it's pretty okay uh, performance wise here. Now let's go back to the home screen and I'll, I'll show you my how browsing is slightly different on the desktop or on the Android application than on the desktop. Let's click on people here. Let me just scroll down, find my beautiful wife and Helena, and there we are. And those of you who paid a lot of attention here will have noticed that. On the desktop, I would have gone back to the overview page where I could choose another person or another uh, look or a location and so on. But here I went straight into looking at the thumbnails. The reason is simply that I expect that I will be sitting in the sofa with my Android tablet and I want to simply just uh, see images from a given vacation or images of my daughter and whatsoever. If I want to narrow that is possible, press and hold and a context menu come up where I can say narrow. Now I'm back to, to the, the home page at this page. At this time, I am narrowed into all the images of an Aileen and I can go and say people. I can scroll down, find Hina Sela here. There we are. And now I got only one thumbnail because there was only one image in my database with the two of them. I can click on it here and I can now when I'm on my viewer here, I can click on the lower one third of the screen, which will bring up uh, the info box that you know from the desktop application. Here I can just click outside of it to make it go away again, or I can click on the lower part again. And I can see that this is in the album called KPA Development Sprint 2008. If I click on this one, I will see all the images from that sprint. I can click somewhere on, on a given image here, uh, let's look at this one here, and uh, I will be, I'll see what was on that image. I can swipe, as you see here, but I can also just right click on the two edges. Um, and at the top of the, the, the upper one third of the screen, if I click there, I will bring up my token um, selector. The Android device is really just a display unit for the running K, K photo album on the desktop meaning that you will not be uh, editing uh, your, your, your categories as you do on the desktop, simply because a virtual keyboard is not really that uh, convenient for that kind of editing. However, the token, uh, editing the token is possible. So if there was a mistake in this one, or I wanted to use this one for printing or whatever, I could put a token on it. So P here for print. And if I bring up my, bring up my info box again, you can see tokens P. So now I got the P token here. And I can, of course, deselect P token again. 
Had you looked at my desktop, my running desktop application while I did this, you would have noticed that now it says that there is unsaved changes, simply because when I set the token, it would send to the running desktop k album, indicating that it now needed to, um, well, that it, it, it had uh, the set or the P token for this particular image. Another feature um, that you expect, of course, from this kind of application is that I can zoom, and I'll simply zoom with pitch, and now when I do that, I'll zoom into this area here. Notice that as soon as I start pitching, um, the the pixels or the, the 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 resolution of the image gets much bigger. Let's see, see, and well, it moved it slightly, but you could also see that the text was uh, was much more sharp. The reason is that when I'm looking at the image here in full screen view. Um, there is no reason for me to bring over the full size image here because on my desktop this image is like four times the resolution on my device here. But simply to have the the application feel as smooth as possible, I don't bring over the full sized um, image. I only bring over how many pixels is available on the screen. But as soon as I start zooming, it will it will bring over the full sized image, and then will give me a better resolution. Double click to zoom out again. And when I'm zoomed in, of course, I can pan around here as I expect. And as soon as I'm zoomed all the way out, I can swipe to go to the next image if I so desire. There is one new feature in uh, K-Photo Boom that, um, that I'll like to show you here. Let's go the, all the way back to my, my front page here. And this is uh, Discover. When I click on Discover here, um, I will now get how many uh, thumbnails I have on the screen um, from my taste place. I cannot, I cannot really scroll up and down because it only found these. But these are random thumbnails. And I can see that they are all images of my wife in. So I didn't go all the way back. I just uh, went back. So these are all narrowed to the set of images with my wife in. And then just pick um, how many are there here. 30-ish uh, uh, different images from my taste place. I can then look at them and say, hmm, yeah, I remember when we were in Poland and we went to this place. And by the way, my wife is uh, the pixels standing down here. Or I could uh, I could uh, look at them and say, yeah, nothing tickles me here. Press the discover button up here and it will find a random set of new images. That will help me again when I'm sitting in the sofa and just looking at my images and saying, shouldn't we just look at some images and I'll find some random images to look at here. And of course, I can zoom this, uh, pinch zoom this in and out to see uh, slightly more images. And there you can see the actual speed of bringing the images from my desktop over to my uh, over to my tablet here. Okay, so when I start up the application, let me just uh, restart it up again here. When I start up the application, you can see there were nowhere where I typed in the IP address of my desktop or anything. Um, that's not because I cheated. That simply when I started this application, it would send a broadcast ping out to the network asking if there was a running desktop k album. And my desktop k album application actually listens to this kind of thing. Let me just try and shut down my k album on my desktop. It's currently asking me if I want to save changes. Remember, I set a token there. Now I, I quit my application. And this is what you might look at when you start up the application. Saying I couldn't find a running k album in the same network. Um, and uh, either your cure is simple, just start up your k album application, and there it is. Or if they are in a network where broadcast ping is not allowed, you can configure that. So let me just go over to my desktop application here. And um, you might not be uh, be keen on on that the that k album is listening to uh, to these kind of information every time you start up. So what you can do is uh, just say settings configure k -photo album and down here is a new tech bo checkbox in k -photo album 4 to 5 saying listen for Android devices and startup if I uh, deselect this one quit k, -fo k -photo album I start it up again now on my tablet I'll not scroll over so you have to trust me there it's it is saying now not connected if you look down here you can see that there is a symbol here indicating that it's not connected if I go down there now in this setup my wife just asked to see my images. I can click on that one and it indicates now that it's connected and my application is already connected. If I 
turn off the application on the um, on the Android device here, you can see that the symbol now indicates that it's go away. You can see that the symbol here indicates that it's searching for a connection. And as soon as I start up the K-Photo album again, it will show you that connection. Let me just finally shut down here, start up again. This time, go over again here. And you can see my says, I'm not connected and my address is this address here. So if I am on a network where I cannot, where I cannot get a connection through, um, um, by sending out the broadcast or if I'm even on a, a different subnet, I can right click here. Up here I can specify that number that I had and this was 13, correct? And now I'm connected again. So this was a Kphoto album 4.5 uh, with the Android client. You get the Android client from Google Play, Kphoto, Kphoto album 4.5 from your regular sources. And uh, just before I started this uh, recording here, let me just show you show you here. I'm sure it won't work, but over on my um, on my Android uh, device, I simply pull down the menu here, and right here, yeah, of course it didn't work in this demo because I'm, um, well, I'm in demo mode, I guess. Um, it said Chromecast, and in that situation, I was actually capable of choosing my living room TV from the Chromecast, a very inexpensive device, and then I would uh, have this screen here mirrored on my TV, which meant that I could sit now in my living room watching my K-Photo album database and navigating it on my tablet and my wife and my family and whoever was there could see all my images on the TV as I did so. So here we are, K-Photo album, not only for your Android device, but also for your TV. Thank you for listening in.